As some of you may know, I've got a lot of mercury gold amalgam because I find a lot of mercury in the area that I prospect. So I picked up a mercury retort. So we're going to use that today, try to recover the mercury. So smash the like button and let's get to it. All right, there's what I'm starting out with. You can see quite a bit of mercury there and that big ball of amalgam right there in the center. So let's give it a shot. So this is the mercury retort right here. The gold goes in here, you heat that up, and the gold vaporizes, goes in here. I've got a mixture of 50-50 water antifreeze. Um, then here's the outlet, and I've got a uh, cloth little piece of cotton that's gonna go down and hang in the water. So when you heat this up, theoretically, the mercury will recondense and drip out right here. So let's see if this thing works or not. We're gonna be using this map gas torch here. I went ahead and got the most expensive one they had at Home Depot. It was like 70 bucks. So, um, this burns a little bit hotter than propane, so hopefully it's going to work out well. point one nine grams and you can see this gold right here is all covered with mercury it's kind of a dull looking color it doesn't really look like gold at all got that ball of amalgam right there let's see if we can clean this up Well, I lost about a tenth of a gram, but I don't think I lost mercury. I think I lost gold. You can see the mercury is still all over the gold. This was my big old fat ball of amalgam. You can see it's turned to sponge gold. So the mercury came out of the sponge gold and got distributed over all the rest of the gold. So hopefully the lost weight is not mercury I think it's definitely the gold that we lost well some of the gold that we lost I'm pretty sure is uh, fused to the collection cup there so we didn't really lose anything and I don't think we lost any mercury at all I think that's probably a tenth of a gram that's fused to the uh, little cup there so I did everything right I used my PPE I had my cloth uh, tube there I had this filled up 50% water and antifreeze and got this thing heated up cherry cherry red for 20 minutes I also made sure there were no obstructions in here so I have no idea why the mercury could not escape from here down into there and the only thing I'm thinking is the demonstrations I've seen online have the tube in the top and this one has it in the side for some reason, that vapor could not escape through there. So, I don't know. Well, that didn't go as expected. I don't know if I did something wrong or if there's something wrong with the design. But if you think you know, please leave that in the comments. But I appreciate everyone watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the video. Check out the links to my social media in the description below, including my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash rookie gold prospector. And I'll see you next time.